Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the mid-month love readings for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aquarius, uh, Moon, Sun, and Rising. I do want to give a big shout out to all my Aquarians out there. Uh, for this month, the way I'm uploading the videos is uh, from here on out, the videos that have the most views or the most comments are going to be one of the first videos to be uploaded. So you guys don't forget to comment, like, and share my videos. If you haven't subscribed, I highly encourage you to subscribe so you could get the newest notifications of the videos that are being uploaded as well. I want to wish all of you guys a happy Hallow's Eve, happy Halloween. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this um, season and also remember just to be safe out there, okay? So let's get into your reading. If you guys are interested in private consultations, also look at the description box below and we'll be able to, you'll be able to find my contact information on there, okay? So Aquarius, let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the mid-month of October 2017 regarding your love life. Spirit, what are the messages from Aquarius for the mid-month of October 2017 regarding their love life? So I'm going to be pulling out cards for you, Aquarius, and then I'm going to be pulling out cards in reference to your partner or the person that you're dealing with at the present time. Or the person that you're interested or in a relationship with okay so i'm gonna start pulling out cards as the cards are already popping out for you guys all right for your cards you have the eight of wands the six of swords the two of cups and the justice card your partner's cards is the king of wands sorry the king of swords the ace of pentacles the empress and the wheel of fortune wow aquarius so far um this is a very uh, balanced type of energy for you guys. So I feel that for the middle of the month going into the beginning of November, you guys are going to definitely be seeing advances in regards to relationships. Let me pull out your current situation at the present time. Spirit, please give me the current situation, current representing Aquarius love life for the mid-month of October 2017. All right. All right. So there's been this theme going on with you Aquarians. Um, in regards to relationships now here um this is the current situation it's the two of wands the two of wands speaks about partnerships uh not just business but also partnerships obviously in regards to love and romance so perhaps you guys are finally being able to either make up your decision about a person that you're dealing with or actually growing some <sighs> growing some balls basically and being able to decide to move forward jump in and jump in wholeheartedly okay so this is definitely the energy that the two of wands is definitely giving to me so for your cards um aquarius you have the eight of wands okay give me one second all right so you have this uh the eight of wands and the uh, six of swords so what this is symbolizing at the present time the eight of wands is quick communication coming back and forth but also it's speaking about the arrows of love so for some of you guys, you guys are currently dealing with the person uh, could be a Libra or it could be that of a water sign as well. So water sign would be um, a Cancer, Scorpio or a Pisces or again, like I said, a Libra. Um, and this is how you're viewing your partner. So you're definitely getting momentum and moving forward. Um, either again, like I said, plunging in completely, uh, not hesitating about um, jumping into a relationship or making a commitment to them uh, the six of swords is here definitely telling you you are walking towards calmer waters uh perhaps there was a feeling of uncertainty in regards to the partnership that you're in or that you've been dealing with uh, but when the six of swords comes out it's definitely talking about the anger uh, the frustrations the discord um miscommunication is definitely uh being released and you're being able to move forward to more calmer more uh, serenity uh, more than anything. So there's a feeling of protection here uh, for some of you guys. So for some of you Aquarians that have been debating whether you guys want to get in a relationship or not, um, with the Eight of Wands and the Six of Swords, uh, you're finally coming to the conclusion that you do feel safe with this person. You do feel like they want the best um, to the higher of your interest. And again, uh, being not vulnerable, but being able to open up to this person and completely connect with them on a deeper level. Now, the just uh, the justice card here uh, is being represented as, um, again, these are your cards and this is how you're viewing the person. So perhaps you're seeing them as a very 
a very fair type of person, a person that is very um, honest in their opinions, but has, has also put in the effort to want to get closer to you. And at this point, uh, it's the perfect timing as, again, like I said, uh, going into the beginning of November, I definitely see you guys opening up more and being able to uh, really decide um, that you guys are definitely moving forward in this relationship, okay? Now, um, I do want to mention for some of you guys, the the, the uh, king of swords here is being represented as the cards that your partner sees you. So they do see you a little bit, or you have been a little standoffish, a little cold, a distant even um, in the past. And this is how they've seen you. Um, but they also see the potential in this relationship, the potential in, you know what, um, it just takes time. You know, it takes time for you Aquarians to open up, to feel, uh, you know, that this person is worthy of you to, to communicate and open up emotionally, become vulnerable. Um, Again, there's definitely a promise here. So I, I feel for some of you guys, you guys are definitely taking it to the next level. Um, or it could be, you know, I remember last, uh, the beginning of this month's reading for you guys, a lot of you guys were debating uh, whether you wanted to push forward in this relationship or not. And I definitely do see that happening with the Ace of Pentacles here um, and the Justice card. So I feel that for some of you guys, you may be dealing with karmatic type of energies as well. Because you do have the Two of Cups and the Justice card. So those two cards together speak about karmatic cycles or people that come into your life to teach you a lesson. Um, but I see this on a grander scale, something that you're being able to, again, like I said, jump in wholeheartedly and um, pretty much um, gamble, you know, pretty much gamble in regards to to love. You know, we all know that in in these things of love, not everything is promised. You're not promised tomorrow and you're not promised forever and ever or happily ever after. Um, for some of you guys that have been avoiding marriage or commitment, um, I feel that for the coming month of November, there's definitely going to be major transformations, a lot of marriages for you guys or moving in. I definitely do see that for you guys. Now, how your partner is viewing the situation is the Empress card. The Empress talks about abundance. It can also speak about uh, pregnancy. So for some of you guys, you guys are finding out that your partner is actually pregnant um, or you will be finding this out probably by the end, uh, sorry, the beginning of November, uh, they bring this news to you. And it's almost as a whirlwind type of um, situation where you were already um, emotionally available to open up to your partner. But um, at this point, um, with the wheel of of the year here. It's a definite ending of cycle for you. Um, for a lot of you guys that have been single for quite a, a while, uh, the wheel of fortune here with the justice card crowning it is definitely talking about the ending cycle of your singlehood. So for some of you guys that are currently single or have been single for quite a while, um, you guys probably left a fire sign behind. A fire sign would be a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. You're moving forward. Um, and again, like I said, by the beginning of November, I definitely do see a connection here. You guys may connect with a Libra or a water sign again, like I said, and the way they perceive you is there's something, they see you very, um, calm, not very open in regard. It's very hard for you to get, for them to read you, but they definitely do see promise and they definitely are interested in you. And again, that offer, that love offer is definitely coming through for you guys for the first or second week of November. Now the Empress here is being represented as the beginning stages with the two of cups, the beginning stages of a connection or a relationship, something that's going to be very fruitful, not just for you, but for your partner as well. And again, the justice next to the two of cups, this is a karmatic type of energy, a soulmate type of energy coming in for you guys. Okay. So I hope this resonated with you guys. Like, share, and comment my videos. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to comment. Um, or view the, the videos. Again, like I said, for next uh, next month's readings, I will be uploading uh, the videos with the most views or the most comments, okay? So I wish you guys the very best. Again, like I said, happy Hallow's Eve, and we will see each other at the beginning of November.